and good day. Today we're having a look at the CR-10 Mini as you can see here, yes. We're going to be testing the ability to restart a print after a power failure. So we'll start uh, a print right now. Which one we go? Air cable link, that'll do. Okay, so uh, the print is underway. And uh, once it gets uh, started and starts printing, I'll come back and we'll turn off the print and we'll see what the resume feature, whether it actually works. But what I'm going to do is also allow the bed to cool down completely so it would simulate a proper uh, power failure. And then we'll turn it on and see whether it works. And then we'll try it perhaps a second time if the first one is successful. Wait and see. And as we can see the print is uh, underway so we're now going to simulate a power failure. I'll uh, swing the camera back so you can see there we are, the screen should come into view. Ah, there we go. And uh, oh no, power failure. Okay, I'm going to allow this to cool off and uh, we will restart it again shortly hopefully restart it shortly I should say and see what happens okay I've given it uh, about an hour, hour and a half give or take uh, time for the the big test to see whether it will fire up again here goes the power and uh, looking good because there is the the print that was uh, running when it shut down. Actually I'll go back again. And as you can see the temperature is uh, back to normal room temperature. And we have resume print. That looks uh, pretty good so far. Let's go to the back up to the info screen. And sure enough it's starting to work. And here we go. Looks like print is resuming. And it's definitely doing something. And we'll find out in a few seconds whether it uh, continues where it left off. And of course I'm pretty confident the answer is going to be yes. And uh, there's the print coming into sight. And away she goes. So that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to let it run for a little bit. And then I'm going to, yes, kill the power again. And uh, we'll see if it resumes twice on the same print. Now that'll be interesting. So uh, I'll let it run a little bit, as I said. and. Uh, I'll swing the camera back onto the little power supply screen thingy over here. There it is. I'm just getting back in, into position. And uh, I've allowed five minutes at this point to run the, um, the print on. It's working perfect. Now the time has come once again. Oh no, a power failure. Off at the wall. And again I'm going to allow it to cool down completely and we'll test to see whether it resumes the print once again. And uh, we'll both find out very soon whether it does. Okay, a fair bit of time has passed and uh, we'll simulate the power coming back on. And uh, as you can see again, both the um, bed and the nozzle have cooled down uh, back to basically room temperature. We've got our last print still showing down the bottom. And we have resume still available. Wow, I am impressed. And she's firing up again.
and here we go we've got motion over on the other side and it looks like the printer's going to do the job again I am very very impressed with this so we've had two simulated power failures both times resume print uh, looks like it's working that means that uh, for normal uses like if you've got a large print running and you don't want to leave it uh, running while you're not in the home or you've moved out of your house you've got other things to do blah 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 as you know um, you can now just basically hit the switch the main power switch on the wall turn it off the printer will stop you can return home and turn the power on and continue just hit the resume and away it goes now I've deliberately chosen a very small footprint as far as this um, print that's running goes so that if we're going to have any problems or any issues with the the bed adhesion which was a concern that I had earlier before I started this actual uh, experiment um, I don't have to worry it, it works perfect so I am wrapped what I intend to do is wait until the print is finished and we'll have a look at the, the finished product and see if there's any obvious shift lines in the, in the print itself. Um, hopefully we won't see anything and if that's the case you can safely turn the printer off, walk away, come back a day, two days, three days later, whatever you like. As long as the um, power is uh, switched off at the wall you just turn it back on again and away you go very handy thing but we will have to check the print out in a few minutes when it's finished that is and there's the finished print really can't tell where the print started and stopped you've got a little bit of stringing on there so I'm guessing that that's the start stop point on the print itself but uh, apart from that it looks uh, looks pretty good I, I really can't see anything so there you go. I am very, very impressed with the little mini. Um, you can definitely start and stop a print. I'll just give it a bit of a... Yeah, she's uh, definitely solid enough. So there you go. So you can start and stop a print multiple times and it will resume perfectly. So that's a big plus for the Creality CR-10 Mini for those that are interested in getting one. I'm very happy that I've got one, I can assure you. Anyway, thanks for watching.